So we're going to use a kaboo. This one is a kaboo with light, and I've got mine in front of me, um, which is all threaded already. So all I'm going to do is look and see the words, make sure that the words are the right way up, just here. I'm going to put it on like a jumper, so it looks like a big cross. In go my arms like sleeves, and in goes my head like a collar. When it's on at the back, I want to grab the back piece and move it nice and low onto the centre of my back. And then I'm going to test that it's going to fit my baby by rolling my hands inside, bringing them together like that, pushing them down towards the ground. Now if I put my baby in, they'll be right all the way down there and that's not where I'd like them. So what I'm able to do is to adjust the carrier by pulling forwards on each side just here and making slightly most sensible level to put the baby at. If you're not sure where you want to carry your baby, try holding them first and looking at where their bum sits before sliding them in to the carrier like that. We can also test as I'm sliding my hands in that we've got even tightening mechanisms on either side, making sure that one's uh, they're both even and one's not really long and one's not really short. When I'm ready, I'm going to pick up my baby. I'm just going to pop baby nice and high up on my shoulder up here. Um, before putting one hand on their bottom and sliding my hand underneath the strap in the same way that I did and guiding their foot through, trying to move the cloth rather than the baby and pop the baby over to the other shoulder and do exactly the same thing, coming down and under. What it enables us to do is to let the baby just sit down on the cloth, make a normal, natural, newborn position just here, supporting them from underneath and allowing them to tuck their arms in as and when is necessary. Now baby started to be supported from underneath by the cloth and you can see that one piece is closest to the baby and one bit is furthest away. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the bit that's closest to the baby first coming up to my shoulder. I'm going to find the inner layer and with this kaboo specifically it's a silky edge and I'm going to roll that across my baby's back. Now it's important that I use the full width of the cloth that I have so I'm finding the bottom and the top and opening the whole of the cloth across the baby. I can do exactly the same on the other side, finding an inside edge and bringing that up and over my baby's back just here. I can spread the cloth on my shoulders and I can spread it by hooking my thumb into the outer edge and opening it up and then folding it back. The other thing that I can do if I hold my baby here is find the inside edge and roll it off my shoulder, what that does is create a flip just here which enables us to keep baby's face nice and visible. I can tuck baby in towards the side just there. When I'm ready I'm going to go get my central piece, the seat belt that goes around both of us at the same time which looks like this. Now it's important to get a good amount of support from this because it takes baby's weight around your torso rather than uh, onto your shoulders. So I'm going to take that elasticated piece and I'm just going to pop it at the back of my baby's shoulders and tighten the carrier by pulling, pulling, pulling and it enables us to give a nice normal baby shape with a support from the back of the knee to the back of the knee on that central piece. Coming around to the back, keeping it nice and snug so it's actually doing some work. You can actually see that, that the elasticated piece across the back of the head here is fairly stretched and I'm going to tie it nice and firmly keeping hold of the slack all of the time. And again, and again, and around. So we should have baby's arms up next to their face. If you can support at the base of the carrier from the back of the knee to the back of the knee in all three layers of the cloth, should be able to see baby's head here and baby's body here. Nice and snug, look down, see baby's face them a nice easy kiss on top of their head and feel like you're able to be hands-free. 